We understand the government of Ukraine is working to try to calm the situation in the east and note the measured approach of the Ukrainian security forces thus far. As you know, the Ukrainian government has repeatedly sought to negotiate with the armed groups that have seized public buildings and established unauthorized roadblocks in eastern Ukraine in an effort to resolve the situation peacefully through dialogue. Ukrainian officials have even offer, uh, offered amnesty to those occupying the government buildings. We appreciate the government's statements that any actions it undertakes uh, will be gradual and responsible, and we agree that the use of force is not a preferred option. That said, the Ukrainian government has the responsibility to provide law and order, and these provocations in eastern Ukraine are creating a situation in which the government has to respond. We continue to engage with Russia at the level of the two presidents, uh, at the foreign minister level, and we will participate in the meeting on Thursday uh, between uh, the Russian and Ukrainian governments, the United States, and the EU. We will continue to make the case to Russia that it is important to pursue a path of de-escalation rather than support for these separatist groups, uh, both direct and indirect because it is uh, simply the case that the future of Ukraine must be decided by the Ukrainian people.